What is guitar playing? It's creativity, it's expression, it's something that my life would not feel complete without. I actually started on trombone, which I loved. I enjoyed playing it. You know, you get to a certain age and then I start hearing Randy Rhodes and you hear Eddie Van Halen. For me on the trombone, I was like, oh, I gotta learn guitar so I can play these, be cool, you know, and play cool music. I started piano when I was five, and then when I was 12, I got an acoustic guitar and took some guitar lessons, and I remember um, my first song was Margaritaville by Jimmy Buffett. Uh, you know, just a couple of chords, but I would sing too. If you only wrote songs one certain way, that, that would become very limiting. So sometimes it, a song will start with a vocal idea, sometimes it'll start with a title, just like a concept, very vague, but I'd say the majority would be just sitting down with guitar and stumbling on things. And for me too, learning songs that other people write, like Nick, write a song, maybe it'll make me work on something I'd never worked on before. Some of the discovery is from trying to figure out things inside your mind. You know, any good band, your biggest influences are gonna be the other guys in the band. Everything we've recorded has probably been with Ernie Ball Strings. In, in Omaha, before we moved out to California, I know I used to play them, and I remember the pink package from way back then that was like all pink, and there were nines probably. And I remember getting those from Russo's there in Omaha. And for whatever reason, I used those, and then when we got out here, we were playing them, and um, it just so happened that Ernie Ball's been kind enough to help us out, Strings, for our whole career, you know. And I have tried some other strings, but just the consistency, the way they always sound great straight out of the pack, whether it's distortion or clean. I'd say the only big move for me string-wise is getting into Stevie Ray Vaughan a lot. I decided to go up to 11s because I, I, I overbend with, with, uh, with 9s or 10s, so I've, I've been on 11s for all that time. It's a continuum from the you know the spark of an idea to then the enjoyment of playing it as a band and then getting a great performance on, on record and then having it come out and really become part of our fans' lives. But it's very rewarding to be able to go from these little sparks and flames of ideas that grow through the studio to all of a sudden you're on the out playing them for people. So it's very fun. You know, we're fortunate we get to do it and we, we take it seriously. When we go out on tour, we get reminded, oh, this is the, the energy, you know, we get, we're reminded of what a totally different experience it is when you're there communally rocking with thousands of people at the same time. I mean, that's like a a tribal dance that has existed for like a hundred thousand years. It wouldn't be near as fulfilling if it was all live or all studio. So it's, it's a great process. We always tour in the summers. Um, I have not been home in July for nearly 20 years. That's, that's the month we're always gone. 
but just to contribute to hopefully goodness in the world. And it's important thing music is.